Hello, I'm John David Ebert, and welcome back to our final week uh, in our course on understanding contemporary art. This is the eighth week. So what I want to, what I propose to do for this video is to look at some of my favorite contemporary painters <clears throat> who reside within the epoch of contemporary art, just to demonstrate that painting is still a going concern. It is still alive. It, it is no longer the leading medium, of course, but it is still a going concern. Um, and what I want to do is look at the artist uh, Zdzisław Bekszynski, who is a Polish artist who died in 2005. And then I want to look at um, <clears throat> Gottfried Helnwein, who is a still living Austrian painter, and follow that discussion with Vladimir Velichkovich, who is a Serbian painter who has moved to France and is still alive, and Arthur Boyd, an Australian artist who died in 1999. So let's get right to the art. There's a lot of it for this video. This image here uh, is that of, um, was painted by Zdzisław Bekszynski, um, a Polish painter. Uh, in 1975, and it's untitled, as are almost all of Bekszynski's paintings. Uh, that in itself, the fact that there is a sudden proliferation, we, we saw this starting, I think, with Mark, Mark Rothko, a sudden proliferation of untitled works within the epoch of contemporary art, that's an indicating concern that something has gone wrong in this art, and that there's a, there's a quest now for meaning. And I think, uh, and for new signifieds and uh, signifiers to point to those new signifieds. And I think this image by Bekszynski is an image of um, post-historic man. Um, it is an image of uh, art after Auschwitz. Uh, the ruins of uh, the, the atrocities of both Auschwitz and Hiroshima have been folded up into the painting in the background here with the burning buildings that are on fire. And this creature uh, that is a, a devolved human being crawling along the ground on all fours like an animal uh, is essentially a human being who has adverted or reverted to the state of a becoming animal and now palpates the ground with his right hand. The hand that used to write uh, is now feeling the ground and there is no sense of vision. Uh, the vision has been wrapped up by bandages, which might be an allusion to, as we've seen, Grunewald's mocking of Christ, uh, who also had a bandaged head. Um, but if we glance at another Bekshinsky uh, image of a crucifixion, we, it, this, this image is uh, an earlier Bekshinsky from 1969 of a crucifixion an untitled crucifixion that shows, I think, gives us a key to the image, which has, which now shows that uh, the great master signifier of the metaphysical age, that of the crucifixion, is now coming unglued. Like Lacan's theory that uh, of the point de capitan, which is the aspect in the psyche of signifiers that are stitched together, quilted together with their signifieds, that create uh, the create a stable Borromean knot between the imaginary, the symbolic, and the real. Uh, when those signifiers come unstitched, come unglued from the signifies that they refer to, then they start sliding around in the psyche and they cause chaos and you get psychoses. And I think basically with Bekshinsky's art, that was, that's what we've got here. We've got the, the great master signifier of the West, the Christ being has come unglued from, uh, as a signifier from the signifies that he once pointed to, and you'll note that this Christ being is not a, really a human being either. The legs there look more like the legs of a bird. And if we glance back then at the 1975 image, we can see that this is essentially the same being. This is the West Christ being who has crawled down from the, the cross and has demorphosized and become devolved to the level of a delusion becoming animal who now restlessly searches the ground with the right hand looking for meaning, looking for new signifieds as the chaos and catastrophe of the metaphysical age burns and melts into a slag heap behind him. And so now uh, the master signifier of the crucifixion, this is another untitled by Bekshinsky from 1983, can only preside now over the ruins of a midden heap. Uh, there is the midden heap of junked artifacts, broken signifiers, damaged signifieds, uh, the world basically that Joseph Boyce drew from for, for his works now surrounds this master signifier of the metaphysical age, uh, which points only to ruins. And uh, in this other image from, untitled image from Bekshinsky from about 1975, we can see that the, he's painted an image here of communities balkanizing, breaking off and withdrawing as the tribalization process has taken place in the West since the 1960s. And we've got more and more uh, s uh, internal proletariats breaking off uh, from the mother body, from the body social, into their own worlds, and they're withdrawing and they're not communicating with each other. So we have a society that's full of broken internal proletariats, each with their own semiotic, splintering and uh, drifting away from each other onto world islands of their own. And this final image that I want to show by Bekshinsky is another untitled. This one's from probably somewhere around 1975. 
Um, it's almost an image of Yeats's poem about uh, what rough beast slouches towards Bethlehem to be born now. We are awaiting the advent of an avatar, which is simply symbolic for saying we await new meaning. We await a new master signifier or a new sign regime that will crystallize and stabilize and organize uh, the West into a new uh, basin of attraction with a whole new set of signifiers. And that's what the portent of the infant represents, I think, here in this image. Shifting now to the Austrian artist, Gottfried Helmwein. This is a self-portrait of him from 1988. We've already remarked on how he got this bandaged head motif, probably from Rudolf Schwarzkogler, the Austrian uh, actionist, Vienna actionist. But also we see uh, that it's the same motif from the, the Bekshinsky painting that we started with here, where the face now ha has been unplugged from all sign regimes and it exists strictly as a surface of inscription awaiting the inscription of new codes that will plug it into a new sign regime that will give it new codes. And so uh, the surface of the face here in Helmbein's work is blank as though it awaits rewriting. Uh, one phase of Western history, the metaphysical age has been erased. And now the portrait exists on a plane of a signification, an a signifying plane of signification, as we saw with Francis Bacon, that awaits uh, a new surface of inscription with new codes upon it. This is another one of Helmbein's uh, paintings. This is a beautiful victim from 1974, which also shows uh, the child with the same bandaged head motif as in uh, the Bekshinsky work. Uh, but the child here is a victim, and a, one of the main motifs of Helmbein's work is the victimization in the, of children by the media uh, in this age. This is in the post-metaphysical age, that is to say. This is another work by him, uh, a later work called the Murmur of the Innocence, not the Massacre of the Innocence, but now the Murmur of the Innocence, as though they don't have much of a voice. Uh, we don't listen to our children in this society so much, even though we value the wonder child as the primary thing, the new, the new, the new. Uh, but on the other hand, um, we don't communicate with our children, and this is leading to increasing violence. Most of the spree killings that are done nowadays are done by uh, children from the ages of 15 to 20, right in that zone who are not communicating with their parents, who distrust their elders and distrust all systems and institutions of authority. Uh, this is another one by Helmwein that captures that sense of alienation of, of the children. This is night five, phony death, which shows the child surrounded by pornography on the one hand with the woman lying on the bed uh, in the pose of, let's say, Manet's uh, Olympia, updated into Adorno's uh, contemporary culture industry and the child captured by the television with its uh, phantasmatic images that are reprogramming its empty psyche that because it has come unglued from the post-signifying and signifying sign regimes, that is to say the mental consciousness structure that built the metaphysical age, now it is prey to inscription by the entertainment industry which is telling it what to think and encoding it with capitalist ideologies, mass consumer culture. And so like Emma Tooth's painting The Captive, we have another variation here of uh, the child as captive to the entertainment industry.